evolution thing. Yay! So first, we're going to six to seven million backwards to see Sahelanthropus candesis. Let's do some basic quizzes. Carla, who was Sahelanthropus candesis first found by? So Drosus candesis found was found by Michael Burnett, who was a French French paleontologist. But the first one of them was found by the Bronx team. It was badly crushed. It was nicknamed Torben, which meant hope of life. Yes, very true. Now, let's go to the time machine. I spy a Salahanthropus sacrodensis, who was the first type of human ancestor. We had a small brain that was the same size as an African ape. We walked on two legs because it is indicated that form the magnum, Latin word for great hole, is right under their brain, which means they walk on two legs. They were found in Michael Brunet in 2002. The fossil was found was estimated that it was around six to seven million years ago, which we are here right now. Let's go back home. were discovered by Donald Johnson, working in the Arthur Triangle of Utopia at the site of Hatter. In 1970, Lucy was found. Atherosus and Afrensis were another sign of the human ancestor. They were alive about 3.9 and 3.0 million, uh, million years ago. They have big differences between the male and the female. Female. The, the males were much, were much larger than the, the females. The females were the smaller size. They also had they also had have physical differences that are similar to apes. They had small brains and muscular jaw muscles. They existed about 3.9 and 3.0 million years ago on Earth. Nice job! I guess since you know a lot about after We wouldn't need to go back to point nine million years back because then. Next is the Paracorobus uh, Epios Pithus. <laughs> the ancestors did not have a founder. They were they were they were another type of human ancestry that were from about 2.7 and 2.3 million years ago. A founding the most a uh, famous founding uh, was the was named the Black Skull, found, found from Kenya. Okay, they had cheekbones that were very positioned very far forward. Their teeth were very large for chewing bones. They extend, existed about 2.7 and 2.3 million years ago. I guess a really doesn't know about Panthropus epithesis. I see your Panthropus epicos. Oh, yes, I do. And you forgot where I live. We lived on Earth in Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania. Bad thing. Our next ancestor is Homo Florensis, aka the Hobbit. We lived, we lived about 100,000 to 12,000 years ago. It, it had only died, died and the only fossils were made. But there, but there are old folk, tale, folk tales about the Hobbit in the, in the area. The first fossil was found by Peter Brown and Michael Morwood at Lyra Ralina Bug Boa Cave in Flores Island. That is interesting. How could it have gone to Flores Island? It is really hard to get there. There are a lot of very known species there too. Wow, you know a lot of facts. Let's see how much you know on yourself. The Homo sapiens! Yay! Yay! The Homo sapiens were the closest to humans. They mostly act as a regular human being. They have the same size of brain, but on the same time body. Homo sapiens knew how to make stone tools to hunt prey and use simple to communicate and represent different meanings. They existed roughly through 1,600 
few years ago in East Africa. Afterwards, they suddenly disappeared for a period of time. 50 and 30 Ka. They migrated from Africa to Europe and they existed on Earth and East Africa. They were not found by anyone because we are Homo sapiens. Yes, very true.